the strategic buyers tend to hold for longer terms, maybe the long run. Whereas the financial buyers, being private parties, they're looking for something they can run. They're, these are people who generally do not hire managers. Some do, but most don't. And particularly first-time buyers need to be careful because if they don't know enough about the business, how are they going to hire the right manager? Private equity firms, they're frequently financial buyers because, and, and in their case, they do hire management. The financial buyers... I guess they're really looking at return on investment. They want a good income. They want a wage and they want to get their money back. They don't want to lose their money. Whereas st strategic buyers, they tend to be uh, open to many different kinds of businesses. Whereas, whereas these financial buyers, the private parties, they, if they're smart, they stay on their resume. They try to, at least for their first acquisition, find and buy businesses that fit what they've been doing or what they know or that they could very easily learn. And we can talk about that more later. The other thing is the, the financial buyers, the private parties, most of them say, I'm, I'm going to keep it forever. But actually what they'll do is keep it five, six, seven, maybe 10 years. I find in America that a lot of business owners sell their businesses on the schedule they sell their houses. And in the USA, other than what the pandemic did, Houses used to trade about every seven years. And guess what? Businesses were somewhat trading in that time. Remember, these are the small and mid-sized businesses. Okay, now the other thing you want to know is the purchase offers, how the purchase offers would differ. Well, pricing. Strategic buyers are known to pay more. Why? Because they can get more value. And why? Well, synergy. They're, they're putting what they're buying into something they already have or they control. The financial buyers, what they're focusing on are multiples, multiples of profit or multiples of seller discretionary earnings. In America, there are plenty of databases that show you what companies have sold for and the multiple and some of the other terms. And we're able to compare. And, and, and the private party buyer is looking at the multiples. Strategic buyers, they oh, they care, but who cares if they overpay by 10% if it dramatically increases their market share or their profit from the other things they own? So that's a big one. I put time on it.